what's up good people welcome back to my youtube channel let's parents be there here so just from the title of the video you already know what you are going to do so we are doing things that turn us off as women i already did an episode on things that turn us on is women so i will make sure to put the link in the description box or in the comment section so that if you've not watched that episode you can as well go and watch it so that you can catch up so let's start our video so i've written them down as usual so that we can go as fast as we can because i have baby right here and he's already starting to want to disturb me young man <laughs> relax relax young man so the first point is we we don't like people who are so ill to themselves if you understand what i mean that can also refer to narcissists people who always talk about themselves they don't want to even hear what you have to say about yourself you are you are somewhere having lunch having coffee you know having a good date then they are talking about themselves how they spend their week you know how this and this happened to them how yani everything about themselves they don't even give you space to even say a single word about yourself the moment you just start talking they even interrupt you you know they just want to say everything about themselves you know mm, my boss did this and this to me you know my house doesn't have this and this i have to go shopping i have to go visit i don't know who mm -hmm. people like those no 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 mm -mm. if you can't give me time to at least speak about myself a little i don't know then what we are talking about so today you just have to bear with me <laughs> i'm alone in the house and baby he wants to throw some tantrums anyway let's continue something else oh god we don't like people with poor hygiene your mouth smells mm -mm. your armpits smell mm -mm. your whole body smells mm -mm. why can't you wash your body hey <laughs> you invite a woman somewhere in the moment she hugs you <laughs> instead of a nice cologne you know being left in her clothes being left in her body you know uh, so that she can go home feeling like yeah i went on a date with this and this man but the first thing that comes into our body is your bad smell you know men nowadays there are colognes even cheaper colognes you know no offense try take a bath you know smell nice especially when you know you're going to meet a lady you know when you you are already married and uh, your wife is gonna help you but you go you have to help yourself first no i don't have to be your responsibility you have to help yourself first you have to take a bath you know to smell nice wear clean clothes you know i don't want to go so deep into it but we just don't like people who don't smell nice you know smelling nice is associated with money money <laughs> so also we don't like people who, who always need to be right you know this applies for both men and women you know you're having a conversation with someone about something and they they just think that they are always right even if you know this person is not making sense in a certain way they still want to insist on it no it has to be like this and it reaches even a point where if you don't agree with them they start misbehaving like you know they get mad at you they don't even want to talk to you because you don't want to listen to their points because they always think that they are always right you know it's good to listen to everyone's point of view so that you can analyze your points yeah no what is right and what is, it, what is wrong so, so, something that i don't like me myself 
not talking generally about all women i don't like waiting to be texted back hey i text you you don't text me back i see you've already seen my message you're just ignoring me i have to be the one to remind you hey sir madam i wrote a message to you i saw that you already saw the message but you're not replying to me so that's when you you start saying like oh I forgot. I I wanted to write back to you. I forgot. No. The point is, you already saw my message. Eh? Meaning you had time to reply, but you chose to ignore. So that will make me not to be your friend. I like good communication. You know, if you don't want to read my message at that time, because you don't have time, just don't read it. Instead of reading it. Mm, leaving me on red mode then you go away huh? mm -hmm. something else is someone who always talks about their ex you talk talk very bad about your ex you, you trash talk them you know whatever they did to you huh? is still in your mind get over it man you know, someone who the ex actually they are not over them because why is the topic of the ex always coming up? Why is it always coming up? Actually, they are just trash talking their ex so that you know they can feel like huh? they can feel better, you know, because actually they are the problem. Someone who continuously talks about their ex. They are actually the problem and they don't want to admit that they messed up in their relationship. So that's why the person keeps talking about their ex. It doesn't matter if it's the man or the woman who keeps talking about their ex, but such kind of people, toxic. That's a big turn off. No, why don't, why don't you just shut up, forget about the past, yeah, and move on. You already have your person, yeah? Hmm? This person makes you happy. Why keep on bringing up a topic hmm, that you know is going to hurt this person that you are with? You know, uh, that's not right. Or even you go on a date and instead of talking about yourselves, you start talking about your ex. I think this is a topic on itself. Do's and don'ts to do on your first date. I'm going to tackle that one. Hmm? I'm gonna be your counselor, don't worry. <laughs> so, someone who is always constantly being negative, yani, this person can never speak something positive about themselves or even about you or even about any other person. They are pessimistic people, you know, like they don't have hope in themselves. You know, you should be optimistic in life. Stop being always negative about life, even about yourself. It's like you, they, they even say this kind of people don't even see a future in them. So when they are speaking to you, they are like, hmm, I've suffered a lot in this world, you know. Yani, things keep going, going by, by in my life. I don't even understand what I'm doing in this life. No, no, no. Actually, one thing that I've come to learn in this life is to try and be positive. Even when things are going wrong, confessing positive things in your, from your mouth, I mean, yani, this can also result into positive things in your life. Stop being negative always, you know. Today it's like I'm preaching. <laughs> I'm not giving you points, I'm preaching. Yeah, let's preach. Preach, sis. <laughs> also, I hate people who feel entitled to to have us, you know, because they they took took you on a date, sorry, or they bought you something, or they did you a favor, so they feel entitled in such a way that they want you to return that favor that they did you, or in future when maybe things go well with you. They want you to recognize them, you know. 
I was there. They want also to be recognized. I was there when she was making that milestone. I was there. I was there. She, I, any other person just needs the need, feels the need to be recognized in everything that you do. So long as they did a favor to you. Someone like that? No. You're not going to be my friend. <laughs> Then, something else is someone who always interrupts you while talking, someone who is boring, you know, you you are chilling with someone, someone who can't even start up a story so that you can contribute into it, you're just sitting down, you are just watching TV. If it's a movie that you've decided to watch, you just sit there, and there's no even a little bit of a conversation okay if you're going somewhere eh, no one is talking you know that is a, a little bit boring young man young man young man sorry for that guy so someone else who likes complaining a lot Hmm? Then you, you you will never even hear something good coming out of their mouth. They are just complaining every now and then. Hey, young man. Young man. Young man. Young man. Yeah, I don't like complainers. Not only me. I know a lot of people don't like complaining. People complain a lot. So, in any case, you don't even agree with any of the points that I'm giving out. Just give out your point of view on the comment section. Meanwhile, like the video, share, yeah. And you, if you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel for more. And something else, I we don't like poor listeners. People who don't listen to whatever we are saying, you are there explaining and explaining to someone and they are done listening. Someone is on their phone. Someone is doing their own things. Maybe even picking their nose. <sighs> and maybe the last one, because baby is really, really disturbing me. I really don't like meeting up with someone. Not only me. No, I'm not speaking from my point of view. I'm speaking from a point of view of many people, both men and women. I really don't like it when I meet up with someone and the only thing that we can talk about is sex. Sex talk, sex talk, you know, sex, sexualizing everything. I really don't like those kind of people. Those kind of people really turn me off. I can even call off a date. That is, <laughs> I know right now I'm married, but before then, and I, I know there are people who can concur with me on this. You meet up with someone, it's even on the first date or even on the second date, and the only thing that they can talk about is sex. You know, even if not talking about it directly, you know, they are, they are telling you how sexy you are, how your lips look good, good when they are kissed, how your legs look fine. Hey. I really don't like that. So... As you can see, this little one here is really disturbing me. Let me just <laughs> let me just end the video right here. I'm gonna see you on my next video. Bye.